In this video, we're going to learn to convert currency in Airtable. You can see here I've got a list of transactions, and for each of those transactions, I've got a currency and an amount. I want to convert each of those into US dollars. So the first thing to do is to go to the Airtable app marketplace and add the data fetcher app to your base. Once you've done that, you sign up for a free data fetcher account or sign into your existing account. Then click on create your first request. For application, select exchange rate.host. And for endpoint, select convert from one currency to another. Then change the name of the request to fetch exchange rates. And click on save and continue in the bottom right corner. For the from currency, we want to use a reference to this currency field in our table. So click on the add icon on the right hand side. Then for field, select currency and click confirm. For the two currency, we want to use US dollars for everything. So just select USD. You can also add a historical date if you want to get the exchange rate for a particular date. But you can also leave it blank if you just want the latest rates. So that's what I'm going to do. And then for the amount, we're also going to create a reference to the amount field in our table. So click on the add icon on the right hand side. Select the amount field and click confirm. For the output table and view, we want the transactions table and the grid view. So then click save and continue in the bottom right. Click continue. And we're going to see a preview of all the fields that come back from exchange rate. So most of these we don't actually need because they're redundant. They're the ones that we sent on the way there that it just gives us back. So click filter all to remove them. Then scroll to the right hand side and you can see that we've got the rate here which is just the rate for one currency and we've got the result which uses the exchange rate and the amount that we sent so i'm going to keep this one by toggling it here i'm going to change the type to currency and that's going to default to dollars but if you wanted a different symbol you could change that here so once you're happy with that click save and run in the bottom right and data fetcher is going to create that result field in our transactions table and convert the currency for every transaction in our table. So back in Data Fetcher, you can close this message and upgrade to a paid Data Fetcher account and schedule this request to run. And you can set the schedule here, click Save, and then Data Fetcher is going to convert the currency on the schedule that you've selected.